19 years ago, Condemned Criminal Origins first hit our screens, delivering a chilling blend of action and horror that left a lasting impression on many gamers, myself included. Today, we're taking a journey back to this classic, revisiting the dark, gritty world of Metro City with fresh eyes and a deeper appreciation for the genre. But why revisit Condemned after nearly two decades? Well, for me, it's a blend of nostalgia and curiosity. Over the years, the landscape of horror gaming has evolved dramatically. Games have become more sophisticated with advancements in graphics, sound design, and storytelling. Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. Revisiting Condemned offers a unique opportunity to see how it holds up in this modern era, especially with the help of the widescreen fix for the PC. As a gamer, I've grown too. My tastes in games have broadened and my skills have mostly improved, and my understanding of what makes a great horror game has deepened. Replaying Condemned now, with all these experiences under my belt, allows me to appreciate aspects of the game that I may have missed or underappreciated back in the day. Still remember the first time I played Condemned, it was on one of those old CRT TVs, the kind that hummed quietly and emitted a warm glow. The game was captivating even then, with its atmospheric tension and quite brutal combat. But let's be honest, playing on a CRT TV had its limitations. The screen was small, the resolution was low and slightly blurry, and the sound, well, it was decent, but nothing compared to today's standards. Fast forward to today, and the difference is, well, night and day. Thanks to the widescreen fix for the PC, Condemned looks better than ever. The environments feel more expansive, the details sharper, and the overall experience more immersive. The widescreen format allows us to appreciate the game's gritty art design in a way that just wasn't possible on the old CRT screens. And then, there's the sound. Modern surround systems bring out the game's audio design with incredible detail. Subtle creaks, distant echoes, and the visceral impact of combat. All these elements come to life, enhancing the tension and immersion far beyond what I experienced on my old setup. Replaying Condemned with these modern enhancements highlights just how ahead of its time the game was in certain aspects, particularly in sound design. It also underscores the timeless appeal of its core mechanics and its quite unique storytelling. Despite its age, Condemned remains a gripping experience, offering a unique blend of horror and action that's still compelling today. So, as we dive deeper into this retrospective, let's explore what makes Condemned Criminal Origins a game worth revisiting. 19 years later, from its mechanics and story to the incredible sound design, there's a lot to unpack here and appreciate, so stay tuned. One of the standout features in Condemned Criminal Origins has to be its melee combat system. Unlike many games that focus on firearms, Condemned puts a heavy emphasis on hand-to-hand -hand combat. This choice creates an intensely visceral and immersive experience. Every swing, every block, every hit feels weighty and impactful. The combat is raw and brutal. You're often fighting with whatever items you can find, pipes, planks, or makeshift weapons. The sound design and animation work together to make each hit feel consequential. You can almost feel the tension in every encounter, knowing that a poorly timed move on your part could lead to your downfall. 
And blocking, though I sometimes say is optional, is quite crucial in Condemned. You can't just swing wildly and hope for the best like I do. Timing your blocks can mean the difference between life and death. A successful block not only protects you from damage, but also staggers your enemy, giving you a precious moment to counterattack. And then, there are the finishing moves. Brutal and satisfying. When an enemy is downed, you have a brief window to execute a finishing move, such as a headbutt, a neck break, or a slam to the floor. <laughs> These moves are not just about eliminating the enemy, but also about delivering a sense of finality and catharsis in combat. That encounter is emphatically over. Firearms in Condemned are a rare commodity. Unlike many shooters of the time where ammo is plentiful, here you find yourself constantly scrounging for bullets. Each firearm you pick up is only as useful as the bullets already in the magazine. There is no reloading in this game. This limitation adds a significant layer of tension and strategy. You have to decide when to use your bullets and when to conserve them. This scarcity makes each shot feel valuable and it ramps up the tension when you're facing multiple enemies. Do you use your precious ammo now or do you save them for a potentially tougher encounter further down the line? Federal agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. And when a firearm runs out of bullets, it's not entirely useless. You can make the butt of the gun a melee weapon. Though it's not as durable as other melee weapons in the game, this mechanic ensures that every weapon has a value, even after its primary function is exhausted, and adds to the chaotic nature of combat, that scrabbling feeling of defending yourself in dire circumstances. Another unique aspect of Condemned is its forensic investigation mechanics. As Ethan Thomas, you're not just fighting off enemies, you're also solving a puzzle. This involves using a variety of forensic tools to gather and analyse evidence. The game provides you with a suite of tools like a UV light, a laser light and a spectrometer for detecting evidence. You also get collection tools like a digital camera and a scanner. These tools are context sensitive and automatically deploy the correct device needed for that situation. And when you enter one of these instinct areas, the game alerts you to the presence of evidence. Finding and collecting the evidence involves a bit of a methodical approach, using the tools to uncover fingerprints, fibers and blood splatters. Once collected, the evidence is then sent to the lab for analysis, which helps you piece together the narrative and progress further in the story. This forensic element adds a layer of depth to the gameplay that sets Condemned apart from other action horror titles of its time. It's not just about surviving, it's about uncovering the truth behind these gruesome murders and piecing together a story. The blend of combat and investigation makes for a compelling and reasonably multifaceted gaming experience. The gameplay mechanics in Condemned, from its visceral melee combat and strategic firearm usage to its forensic investigation, all come together to create a uniquely immersive and engaging experience. As we dive further, we'll see how these elements contribute to the game's enduring appeal all these years later. Now, one of the most significant advancements of revisiting Condemned Criminal Origins today is the widescreen mod available for PC. This fix transforms the game's visual experience, making it feel more modern and immersive. The benefits of using this widescreen mod are immediately noticeable. The expanded field of view allows for a more immersive experience, letting you take in much more of the game's environment all at once. The visuals feel less cramped and more natural, which is especially important in a game where atmospheric immersion is key. And here's a comparison. Here, the enhanced widescreen view. And here, the 4x3 aspect ratio. 
This improvement not only enhances the visual appeal, but also makes navigating and exploring the game world far more enjoyable. The environment design in Condemned Criminal Origins plays a crucial role in creating its dark and foreboding atmosphere. The game is set in a decaying urban sprawl of Metro City, filled with abandoned buildings, dark alleyways, and claustrophobic interiors. The environments are gritty and detailed, with a heavy emphasis on shadows and the limited use of lighting to heighten the senses of dread. Each location is meticulously designed to invoke a feeling of unease and tension. The textures, while dated by today's standards, still effectively convey the grime and decay of this urban setting. Take, for example, the abandoned department store, the flickering lights, the scattered debris, and the unsettling mannequins create an eerie atmosphere that keeps you on edge. The design of these spaces encourages slow and cautious exploration, amplifying that horror experience as you never truly know what's lurking around the next corner and you don't want to accidentally take a crowbar to the face. When it comes to character models and animations, Condemned does show its age, but it still manages to contribute effectively to the game's unsettling feeling. The character models are somewhat rough by modern standards, with less detailed textures and simpler geometry. However, the design choice, such as the grotesque appearance of enemies and the lifelike movements, enhance the overall horror aesthetic. This unsettling design of the enemies makes encounters genuinely frightening, even if the graphics are not as polished by today's standards. Animations, whilst not as smooth as modern games, are serviceable and add to the immersive experience. The clunky, somewhat exaggerated movements of both player character and enemies contribute to the tension. Every swing of a weapon, every block, every footfall feels more impactful, grounding the player in this brutal reality of the game's world. The visuals of Condemned hold up surprisingly well. The gritty and atmospheric environment details combined with the eerie character models and animations continue to provide a compelling horror experience. These elements work together to create a world that, despite its age, remains immersive and hauntingly effective. At the heart of Condemned Criminal Origins is Ethan Thomas, a seasoned FBI agent working in the SCU, the Serial Crime Unit. Ethan's life is turned upside down when he becomes the prime suspect in the murder of two fellow officers, a crime he did not commit. His journey begins as a quest to clear his name and uncover the truth behind these killings. The initial setup is gripping, Ethan is called in to investigate a crime scene, only to be framed for a double homicide when his gun is used to kill the two police officers. This incident sets off a chain of events that forces Ethan into a desperate situation. Die. <laughs> the initial conflict is deeply personal and immediate. It thrusts you into Ethan's shoes, feeling an urgency and fear as he navigates the dangerous and decaying urban landscape of Metro City. The premise effectively hooks the player, establishing a strong emotional connection to the protagonist and his plight. This was a guy caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, and the bureaucrats above him won't listen to reason. As Ethan delves deeper into the investigation, the story takes several unexpected turns. Early on, he discovers that the murders are connected to a series of grisly killings perpetrated by various serial killers. However, the most significant twist comes with the introduction of Serial Killer X, a mysterious figure who targets other serial killers. Serial Killer X, whose real name is Leland Van Horn, adds a complex layer to the narrative. He believes he's on a righteous path 
cleansing the city of its worst criminals. This revelation shifts the story from a straightforward crime investigation to a psychological and moral battle, where Ethan is caught in the middle. The narrative evolves in some surprising ways. Ethan's journey is not just about solving crimes, but also about confronting his own demons and the dark forces at play in the city. The story incorporates elements of psychological horror, with Ethan experiencing disturbing visions and hallucinations that blur the line between reality and madness. The culmination of Ethan's journey is nothing short of surreal. The final act takes place in a dilapidated barn, where Ethan has chased a mysterious figure with metal implants in his body, and faces off against this mysterious metal horror cyborg in a climactic battle. But this isn't just any fight, it ends up taking place in a spooky forest setting, with a metal implant man wielding a pipe like a ninja sword, before Ethan unceremoniously rips his implants off his body ending the fight. This ending is a stark departure from the grounded, albeit intense, crime investigation that started Ethan's journey. It encapsulates the game's unpredictable nature and its willingness to dive headfirst into the surreal at a moment's notice. The battle is both thrilling and bewildering, a fitting conclusion to the story that constantly defies expectations. After defeating the mysterious man, Ethan is faced with a moral choice. To kill Leland Van Horn, serial killer X, or to let him live. This choice underscores the game's recurring themes of justice and morality, leaving a lasting impact on the player. The final scene reveals the true extent of the game's psychological horror, hinting that Ethan's struggles are far from over. Condemned delivers a narrative that is as compelling as it is unpredictable. From its gripping premise to its shocking twists and turns, and ultimately its surreal finale. The story keeps you mostly on the edge of your seat, it's a testament to the game's ability to blend this intense and visceral action with deep psychological horror, making it a memorable experience, even 19 years on. One of the most impressive aspects of Condemned Criminal Origins is its sound design. The atmospheric ambience in the game is subtle, yet incredibly effective, enhancing the overall sense of dread and tension. The ambient sounds are meticulously crafted to draw you into the game's unsettling world. Every creak of a floorboard, distant echoes and shouts, and the rustle in the darkness adds to the feeling you're never truly alone. These sounds are not just background noise, they're integral to the game's atmosphere. For instance, the creaking floorboards in an abandoned building make you second guess every step. Distant echoes and muffled sounds from other rooms create a constant sense of uncertainty, making you feel vulnerable and on edge. These subtle audio cues are what make the game's environments feel more haunted. Every swing of a weapon, every block, and every miss, all accompanied by a sound that underscores the brutality of the action. The clash of metal, the sickening thud of a blunt object hitting flesh, and the pained grunts of enemies, all contribute to the intensity of the combat. The sound effects are not only realistic, but also exaggerated just enough to enhance the overall experience. 
For example, the sickening crunch when delivering the neck snap finisher. <laughs> or the sharp clang when blocking an attack means every action feels more significant and impactful. These sounds heighten the immersion, making the player feel every blow and struggle. Playing Condemned on a modern sound system transforms the audio experience, taking immersion to a whole new level. Playing with surround headphones on allows you to hear details you may have missed on older setups. The directionality of sound becomes more pronounced. You can hear enemies approaching from behind, the subtle movement in that room nearby, and the environmental noises that add to the atmosphere. The sound design in Condemned remains a standout feature, even all these years later. The atmospheric ambience, the impactful combat sounds, and the enhanced surround sound experience all work together to create a deeply immersive and haunting game. Whether you're revisiting it or experiencing it for the first time, the audio elements are sure to leave a lasting impression. When comparing the mechanics of condemned criminal origins to those of modern horror games, it's clear that some aspects have aged, yet they still offer a unique and engaging experience. Modern horror games often feature smoother controls and more fluid animations, but Condemned compensates with its raw, visceral approach to combat. The slower, clunkier mechanics of Condemned might seem outdated, but they add a layer of tension that many modern games lack. The deliberate pace forces you to plan your actions carefully, making each encounter more intense and somewhat nerve-wracking. This contrasts with the faster, more agile gameplay seen in some titles like Resident Evil. While modern games offer more streamlined mechanics, the methodical pace of Condemned ensures that every move counts, creating a sense of weight and consequence that enhances the horror experience. This clunkiness, rather than detracting from the game, actually contributes to its unique charm and engagement. Storytelling in Condemned is another area where it stands out, even when compared to contemporary horror games. Modern horror games often follow a more polished and cinematic narrative, but Condemned shines with its unpredictable and engaging plot. The narrative style of Condemned is both raw and gripping. It starts with a straightforward premise. Ethan Thomas, a disgraced FBI agent, trying to clear his name. However, the story quickly spirals into a series of unexpected twists and surreal encounters that keep you more or less on the edge of your seat. You're never truly sure what's about to happen. In contrast, modern horror games normally offer a branching storyline and multiple endings, providing a cinematic experience. And while these narratives are engaging, Condemned's ability to constantly surprise and captivate players with its storyline is a testament to its strength. While Condemned Criminal Origins may show its age in certain aspects, its unique mechanics, engaging storyline, and outstanding sound design ensure that it remains a standout title in the horror genre. It offers a different, yet equally compelling experience compared to most modern horror games, reminding us of the timeless appeal of well-crafted horror. Stop the car. Stop the goddamn car now! Revisiting Condemned Criminal Origins after such a long time has been an eye-opening experience. Playing it again, especially with the benefit of modern technology and a 
deeper appreciation for horror games has highlighted both the game's timeless strengths and its dated elements. Back in 2005, Condemned was groundbreaking in many ways. Its gritty atmosphere, visceral combat, and innovative use of forensic investigation set it apart from other games of its time. Now, replaying it with the widescreen mod and surround sound, the immersion and tension are more palpable, and on a personal note, it's fascinating to see how much both I and the gaming industry have grown. As a gamer, my tastes and skills have evolved, and the advancements in technology have dramatically improved the way we experience games. Condemned serves as a bridge between the past and the present, offering a nostalgic yet fresh experience. The impact of Condemned on the horror genre is quite undeniable. Its influence can be seen in many modern horror games that prioritise atmosphere, sound design and immersive storytelling. Games like Outlast, Amnesia and even the more recent entries in the Resident Evil franchise owe a debt to Condemned for pushing the boundaries of what horror games could achieve back in 2005. The game's blend of psychological horror, intense combat and puzzle solving using forensic investigation created a template that many have tried to emulate. And even today, Condemned manages to captivate both new and returning players. Its unique mechanics and story continue to resonate, proving that it stood the test of time. The game's community remains active, with discussions, mods, and even fan content keeping the spirit of Condemned alive. So what are my final thoughts on Condemned Criminal Origins? Well, it's a game with clear flaws, and the mechanics can feel clunky, and the visuals are dated, but its issues are far outweighed by its strengths. The combat is satisfyingly brutal, the story is compellingly unpredictable, and the sound design is just outstanding. For anyone who hasn't played it before, I highly recommend giving it a try, especially with the widescreen mod for PC. It offers a unique experience that modern horror games often lack. For those who played it back in the day, Revisiting Condemned is a journey worth taking. You'll appreciate the nuances and craftsmanship that went into its creation. In conclusion then, Condemned Criminal Origins is more than just a relic of the past. It's a testament to the enduring power of well-crafted horror. And whether you're a newcomer or a returning fan, this game has something to offer. So, dust off that old copy, apply those modern fixes, and dive back into the haunting world of Metro City. You won't be disappointed. Look, I have no idea what any of it means. Something weird, something unexplainable happened during my investigation, but truthfully, the questions you ask, I, I just, I can't answer. I'm sorry, Rosa. I'm sorry too, Thomas. I really am. Take care of yourself. <laughs>